guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about my hair how i style it what products i use so i'm so excited to film this video because since my hair is permed and um my routine of doing my hair has changed now and a lot of people have been asking me what do i use to keep my you know my curly hair and how i maintain it so in this video i'm going to be talking about all the products that i use and what do i do and just everything about my perm so if you guys want to know how i style my hair what products i use then just keep on watching okay you guys so let's say i'm just loving this style I'm loving my style I'm really like feeling so good about my perm I love it um, the reason why I perm my hair is because I want to do something different again so when I come out of the shower I don't have to do much and curly hair honestly looks really good put together like my hair it's like nice big waves I like how it looks like it gets super super curly look at this look at like I could literally stretch it look at this one right here I could stretch it and bling and it gets super super curly and now I did film like some footage of me doing my hair so that's exciting because I'm gonna be showing you the, um, how I use each product in this video so let's get started off by me coming out of the shower so once my sh my hair it's all washed i do use clarifying shampoo once a week clarifying shampoo for me what it does and what it's supposed to do is deep clean your hair so when you deep clean your hair you achieve better um style at the end just because your hair is very very clean and now um i know you're supposed to use it once a week or something like that but i use it twice a week just because i don't wash my hair every day i wash it every three days so now i do want to jump in on how i style my hair so i do want to first though say that i had to dye my hair my hair went from red to brown now once I achieved the brown hair, I knew I was not going to get like faded in colors just because when you do perm your hair, the perm is like chemical. So it starts fading out every color you have in your hair. So if I was going to go from red and get a perm, I was going to get like a pinkish. I mean, red itself, it already fades. So I was already scared. I was like, you know what? I don't want to look funny. I don't want to look ridiculous. So I'm going to just go ahead and um start dye start start dyeing my hair something natural color so i don't look funny so i did i'm gonna insert a photo here and the product i use and the color i use was um i believe it's 4n from wella and i used it with the 20 developer i also will insert here once my hair was dyed i do have a clip i'm inserted this right here and now in the clip you see how i'm dyeing my hair and i show you how it turned out too so now moving to the perm the perm my hair i think i i did it the same day i did the, um permed it i dyed it and I permed it the same day now my hair i had to have it super 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 wet for me to install the um the curls i forgot how you call them now okay so the rolls that i use were like the stretchy ones because i know there's a lot of type of rolls that you could put into your hair there's like the very small ones where you have to like pull the rubber and just clip them and then insert them i mean um i could put a picture of those how they look but i use I, sh I will enter a clip here the um, actual tools that I use and you could see the um, roll was like this thick and that's the uh, size of the curls how it came out because that's how I wanted it now um I was like pretty excited when I inserted the whole whole rolls it took about three to four packs of them I forgot how many of them were came in a pack but in the video here I will show you um all the stuff that i use so now in the clip it also shows you how i installed them and i did not record where i insert 
the um, liquids. Now, when I put the liquids, the first one was the actual wave solution. The wave solution, what it does to your hair once the rolls are in, it actually breaks like the molecules of your hair because it's starting to open up to to bond how you want them to be bonded. So now I rolled my hair going this way, so my curls are coming in so i did section my whole hair so when the um liquid was in my hair it it was about 30 to 35 minutes that i had left it in my hair after that i mean i was checking the curl to see you know if the wave solution was even processing my hair now you do gotta think my hair was super 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 processed i did have bleach hair when I went red, so the actual chemical, it is licensed product. Um, so if you don't have a license, you cannot purchase it. Now, I'm not a professional hairstylist or anything. This solution that I bought, it was for damaged hair, for processed hair, or for hair dyed hair. So this solution helped my hair kind of protect it, even though I was using chemicals in my hair, it was actually also protecting it. Um, once I did that, I waited, like I said, 30 to 35 minutes. Then I answered the neutralizer. The neutralizer, what it does, it actually closes now the molecules on your hair. So it seals and locks on how the um, roll was inserted. After that, um, I waited for 15, 20 minutes. Now the product smells super bad. Like it smells really, really, really bad. Um, I went ahead and left it for 15 minutes, then I rinsed it off. The neutralizer was in my hair that really smelled a lot better. Like, I was like, oh my god. I remember back when I did my first perm, like, honestly, it smells horrible. Like, I remember I did it when I was living back in my mom's. Like, I had everybody at the door because that's how bad it really smells. Okay. What? I feel like my shirt is really see through. But anyway, um after that I took off the rolls and in the video you could also see the um actual style of how it was. All I did was rinse it off and I have to leave it just how the way it is, like with very, very, very minimal products meaning like no alcohols, no shampoos, no conditioners, no anything just so my um my perm could sit for at least 48 to 72 hours. I know if you do it say for at least 20 hours or the next day your perm is gonna fall off but now if you didn't like how your results came out like say for example they were too tight there is a way you could um take them down by you washing your hair and then you you'll see how your your curls are not as tight anymore and they start falling out so that's something you could do if you didn't like it but to me i like how my perm came out i saw how the way you know the the curl was coming out and i liked it so it was like you know what we did it i waited the 24 hours i looked like a medusa I probably was into a picture right here i looked it ridiculous my hair was like boom like it was out there now um once my hair was was done or whatever um that's this is exactly i'm gonna show you exactly what i did so now in the next clip I am going to be showing you style my hair. So I'm going to be answering, like I said, the video here while I talk about the first product. So now, when I'm out of the shower, my hairs are, it's like dripping wet, okay? It's dripping wet and if you've seen the, how you, if you pay attention to the video, you'll see how my hair is all flipped forward. Now, when you flip your hair forward, forward it gives you more volume to the hair the hair seems to be more curled on the top not just at the bottom or or mid bottom you have the whole hair actually curled and you have so much volume like it's ridiculous you could even see 
all the curls down here how they curl like so pretty like I loved them so the first product that I was using it is it's this one right here and this one is the coconut um, organ organ oil living condition repair cream now this is a deeply moisturizer to help protect hair from damage so okay so see this here number one it smells good number two I love how the way it sits in your hair it, it's your hair really gets very smooth so I like about this is re really what I like about this product now I do not comb my hair if you see in the clips I do not comb my hair at all you don't see me using no brush nor anything it's just my fingers going through my hair so this is the product I use so now with that said I moved on to the oil the um, oil that I used was the vitamin the vitamin E oil and it's this one right here the one that I've mentioned in my last video this one right here is uh, it prevents dryness hair and skin oil damage control um, it promotes healthy hair and it's basically makes it look makes you look young or something like that but anyway um this smells really good honestly if you purchase this um oil or if you already have this oil this oil smells like cologne i don't know why but it gives me like a male type of scent smell i don't know why but it does now i do um pour very little into my hand and i'm also gonna insert a bit clip here and you'll see also how i put it through my into my hair starting avoiding my the scalp like I do not put any oil in the scalp because my hair is already very oily but with the perm I do see that my hair dried out a lot but you'll see in the video how I use the product I did use now the coconut chia butter maximum hold and this is um for styling um gel this styling gel with Jamaican black castor oil Ooh, okay it's this one right here as so you guys can see now this a uh, gel oh my god i love it one because it's very soft to your hair then two it does not leave your hair like crunchy and hard or flaky you know when you be moving your hair so much it, like you feel when you use say for example hairspray and then you feel that texture that is so hard that if you keep touching your hair you're gonna like literally pick up like flakes pick up flakes or something in your hair well this one doesn't this one really does the job it does what it's supposed to do like it locks the um, living conditioner and the oil so I did use the curling hair uh, for girls method and that method honestly works for me with the perm like I love it so this basically locks the living conditioner and the oil and I'm also gonna insert a video right here so you guys can watch it on how I use the product okay next I used a little bit of mousse so I wanted to uh, see how the mousse will sit in my hair I did not use a lot of the mousse just because I not trying to achieve some hard noodles looking curls or waves or anything like that i want my hair to still feel soft because i know most of you guys now are thinking with all those products that she already used in her hair maybe you guys are questioning does her hair feel like her hair feels hard does it even um feel smooth does she has any movement on her hair how does it feel by now with all the products? Now, my hair still feels very smooth. It feels very good. Um, my hair does not feel hard. And if you could touch, really like see it and touch it, my hair is it's very soft, like very, very, very soft. So I like how that it's feeling in my hair. Like it feels very good. You could see all the movement on my hair. So that's a plus I love it and it really doesn't feel hard at all so with that said the mousse I'm using is called Sprunch Mouse and it's a and it's a living conditioner now that I actually read it completely but um, it's for a 24-hour curl lock so this is really gonna lock the gel 
the living conditioner and the oil that I have already in my hair and it's this one right here so go ahead and screenshot hopefully it's like focusing but there it is now um this mousse smells really good it does not smell strong at all i like how it feels it's not sticky like there's a lot of mousses that i've been picking up that i feel that they're very very sticky now this mousse is not sticky at all it feels very good in your hair and i just like how it works through your hair when i'm like scrunching it so this baby i really recommend it to you guys now the fun part now the fun part is when i start scrunching my hair when i'm scrunching my hair you do see in the videos that you hear like that it's, it's like a um like a scrunchy noise it still has like a lot of water in my hair but that's a whole point for for my hair to dry into all the products that i insert so i'm gonna be using a diffuser and this is the diffuser that i have so this is really your best friend because your hair is going to dry with the diffuser. Now the diffuser, I do not use it in the heat um, too high. Yeah, I use like very cool heat. That's like, it's not even heat, it's like cool air. That's what I use throughout the whole entire time that I'm diffusing my hair. Now you guys got to understand that you guys might say, damn, that's a lot of work. Um know when you're already used to it when you strain up your hair i mean string your hair or curl your hair you have a method and you have guidelines right you do, you know you have to section your hair you have to go like i mean i don't know but um it's very very easy once you start getting used to all the um steps and like i said i had to get used to it because now i'm a curly hair girl and really the diffuser does it for me really styles it very very nice i like it because it gives me a lot a lot of volume now i'm also gonna insert a video this video right here it shows you how i start diffusing my hair i do um diffuse my hair starting from the roots because remember this is where we want more body we want more volume so i do take about 20 minutes to dry my hair completely after that my hair is not like super super dry but i just let it let the air finish it off and this is the final results that you get like i really love the diffuser my diffuser is from revlon so i really recommend it this is basically your savior your baby your everything for real so. now with that said you guys saw now all what i do all what i use how i perm my hair and it was very fun for me to do this transformation i love it i like it it makes me look different and i'm always there for a change and that's what i like that now that when i string my hair i look different <laughs> babe <What? laughs> he wants to come out in the video but anyways um thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate all your support make sure you keep on um, supporting me and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you to next until the next video peace